everybody. Yay. Everybody. <laughs> Dog, it's Friday. <laughs> Happy TDIF, everybody. <laughs> oh, we made it to the end of another beautiful week. Uh, so happy to be here with you all. Um, if you're um, if you're watching, please tell us where you're watching from. I'm always curious to know where everybody is. Uh, and um, we've got a really fun dog themed craft today. It's bright and sunny and cheerful and, um, uh, just happy go lucky like our pups. I can't wait to do it. Um, we're going to be putting together a sunflower clothespin paw print wreath. So, um, it's a really beautiful, uh, look to, uh, a, a wreath, you know, building out a wreath. And if you haven't done clothespins before when building a wreath, it's so easy and it turns out so beautiful when it's yeah. all done. Um, we've done them before. Um, so if you want to check out our, our past library of videos and tutorials on all of that, please do. Um, we do all kinds of crafts and recipes and all kinds of good stuff um, th that honor our love for pups. Um, so if you don't know who we are, hi, everybody. I'm Patty and I'm here with Hillary. Hey, everybody. And we are <laughs> the co-founders of Hound Hugger DIY and we have got, got the best DIY today. It's going to be so much fun. So as I said, we're doing a sunflower clothespin paw print wreath. So um, the first thing you're going to need it to grab is a wreath form. That's a wire wreath form. This one's a little big, but I wanted to show it for demonstration. You can use this as I think an 18 inch you can use, or maybe it's 16 inch. You can use that. Hillary's showing the one that we grabbed from Dollar Tree. So yes, another Dollar Tree inspired <laughs> craft as we usually do. Um, they're usually inexpensive, but they usually turn out so pretty. I mean, I just, I love that. So 14 inch wreath form from Dollar Tree. And then you're going to grab some uh, clothespins. And I just ended up having a stash uh, tucked away uh, in, in my uh, craft stash. Hillary, I think you got yours from Walmart. Is that right? Yeah. So I, I got a hundred pack from Walmart and they were using two different types, finer, shorter, and and fatter kind of so okay <laughs> we have a, a bit of a different technique you'll need more if you do the short version yeah than you will if you use uh the kind so here's the kind that you yeah, usually see that have the little thumb kind of the little ridges yeah yep so the these top. are about a half an inch longer than the package that i got okay. at walmart and okay. that half an inch makes a big difference so you'll need more of them if you have the okay. shorter variety but it still okay. works so yeah you can, and you could do a combination if you were just going through your clothespin you could definitely kind of intersperse them Mix and some match. some fatter some skinnier some longer some shorter it'll all work <laughs> <laughs> yay you finally caught us live thanks so much for being here with us lhorn 49 so that's awesome so glad to have you here with us today um yeah so i ended up using clothespins that were skinnier than the last batch so as i said we've done a clothespin wreath before that's i think it's so adorable it's really colorful a lot of fun um but those were wider so i ended up needing more clothespins um because mine were narrower this time but typically what you'll need for a 14 inch wreath from Dollar Tree is 60 clothespins um, if they're wider and longer. Um, if they're skinnier, you're going to need 70 of them. And if they're short, like Hillary's, you're going to need... You'll need 90. 90 of them. Okay. <laughs> so, A big, yeah. big old stash of clothespins. Uh, so anyway, so then basically what you do is you're going to divide however many that you have in half. So let's say, let's work with 60. So if you yeah. have 60 clothespins, 30 of them, you're going to paint yellow like all yellow because we're going to make a sunflower out of out of our wreath and i ended up using this uh sunbeam from apple barn yes yeah, same one as i did Yay. that was just a happy <laughs> accident there it was <laughs> so that's awesome and then the next half so let's say again 30 of them you're going to paint two-thirds of it yellow and then you're going to paint another like i don't know I'm not very good at math right now. Uh, like another, I don't know, let's say you paint the next part um, brown and then the tip black. So basically what I did is I took the little wire thing along the side and I made sure half of it was, half of it was yellow and the other half was brown is how I kind of figured out um, and then just painted the tips black. So um, 30 of them have the multiple colors and 30 of them are gonna be solid yellow. And for my brown color, I had on hand, I had folk art coffee latte is what I used. So I have folk art cinnamon. 
There you go. That's so funny that we're at least the brand. <laughs> and then I ended up having some black ink, yep. black chalk paint that I ended up using. So whatever you've got, if it's acrylic, black paint, whatever you yep. got, that'll work. And then the next step you do while those are drying, you're going to get a piece of foam that is, let's see, what size is this? I've got some leftover, 12 by 18 inch. And we grabbed this from Hobby Lobby. And you're going to cut out a circle. And so that you know what size circle, take your wreath form, put it on top, take, turn it upside down, put it on top of your um, foam, and then trace outside that inner ring. Uh, you want it a little bigger than the inner ring um, of your wreath of your wreath form. Um, and so just take a pencil or pen and trace around. It, it draws very easily in the foam. And then you're going to cut that circle out. So you want a black circle that's just a little bit bigger than the inner inner ring on your wreath form. And then once you have that, we have the funnest ever printable. <laughs> that's a paw print. It's free. You can download it from our tutorial and look at all the choices you get. So um, Hillary put these together. They're really fun. There's like a, a herringbone, there's a plaid, and then there's just kind of a, a ombre with its with yellow to orange colors. So you can pick one of those. You print this out on cardstock, and then you're gonna glue that to the center of your foam uh, circle. And then once you have that, and we, oh, yeah. uh, I, we just use fabric glue. This is yeah. one that we happen to really like, uh, the Fabri-Tac, but you could use rubber cement. You could use, I wouldn't probably do hot glue because it might no. melt that foam. So yeah. just even just regular glue would work Elmer's. for that. So yeah. you're just gluing um, it into the center. Elmer's would work. So let's pretend I cut out an extra little circle from my foam. <laughs> it's not the right size. It should be much bigger, but just to pretend, um, the first thing you're going to do, and let's say it's got a nice little paw print on it. We've already cut it out and glued it on there. We're going to take our colored, three colored uh, clothespin, and you're going to clip it. You're going to clip it from the bottom two. I'm going in from the bottom two rings, and I'm going to clip that piece of foam underneath on the back side. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you're going to do it. And then um, we've got a so video for to mine, finish. Show. Yeah, go ahead. We have a video to, to kind of show how, th how that works. And for mine, since I'm using those shorter clothespins, I'm just clipping it on the first ring. So I the don't go through circle. both of them because yeah. my clothespins aren't long enough to actually do that. Yeah. So here we so will if you have a short, if you got, well, let me use the tricolored one. So if you have a short, uh, short one, you're just going in that bottom ring. And mine are really long, so it's not really working, but you're doing it like that. You're yep. going to clip, clip that foam. There we go. Clip that foam so that it's right up against that inner ring and you're attaching the foam and you're going to go all the way around. And like I said, we've got a, we got a video speed up the process so you can kind of see how that works. So you can see Patty's kind of tacking down the top, the bottom, and then each side, and then she'll go through and fill out and space them out of it evenly because you'll have the yellow clothespins that'll be kind of filling in all those gaps there. Right, right. So yeah, if you if you tack it down in the top, like the 12 o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock positions, that'll give you good tension um, so that it stays in place as you're filling in all those other spots. And then you're just leaving enough space, um, as Hillary said, to just put another clothespin in between so we're going around, I'm going all the way around and I actually ended up uh, a little shy on that one. So I had to make a couple more because I didn't realize my clothespins were skinny, skinny minis. So I ended up making a, a few more. And then the next oh. layer, you're taking the solid yellows and going through the middle two rings um, if you've got the long ones. So yeah. you can see I'm not clipping to the foam. I'm just clipping those middle two rings uh, on the wreath form. And, and if you have the, yeah. the shorter ones, then you're just clipping to the second, the second ring. The second so, ring. and I'll, I'll show that once this video is done, I'll kind of show yeah. you a little close up of, of mine. So for the shorter ones, you're going to use 
three rings of the wreath form for the longer clothespins, you only need to use the... Well, I guess you end up using the same amount of rings, but just... Uh, yep. <laughs> but you're only clipping you're one ring at a time. Slightly different. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. So mine is clipping the first two inner rings with the first layer and the second two rings, middle rings with the second layer. And Hillary is doing one ring, but three layers. So each one of those for middle three rings are yeah. filled in. So you can see on here. And I like yours too, because it's like it it's really full and and comes out nicely. Just but take some of these off cute? so you can kind of see a little bit more closely. So you can see there the the that area that I just took out that last layer. So I'm going on the third ring and just taking these and tucking them in between those spaces. Okay. You're just covering so up the right wire. kind of right behind our tricolored. Yeah. That's where that's where Oh, okay. Last, yeah, that makes sense. This yeah. last layer is going. Yeah. Cuz you could kind of see they they poke up a little bit. Yep. So, show your sideways. I'm just curious what yours um yeah, yours really stand out. Yours really stand um yep. out more. Which is neat. It looks more like a really full sunflower. It's really pretty. But so there we have it. And then we're gonna just do one last little embellishment. Uh just to, just to really drive home the fact that this is a sunflower, and we're gonna add some silky sunflowers uh for an embellishment on this one as well. And I think it just really it, it softens it up really nicely. Um, it adds an extra layer of three dimension and everything, which is really nice. Uh, so just, uh, again, just wherever you're, you can go to Dollar Tree and get these sunflowers. They're really pretty. Yeah, and, and you then, can kind of play around. So I have these kind of large sunflowers, and I wanted one a little bit smaller. So I just pulled off the oh, back and pulled yeah. a few of the layers of petals off just to make That's it. That's a great idea. A little That's smaller a there. So, little blue strings. And it's nice to work with um, uh, flowers in threes. I think it just yeah. adds that, usually an odd number. That's you could nice. also do one big one if you wanted. So that's probably yeah. what I'll do right now for the lot, just because mine is so large, needs a little playing around with, so. Just gotta let it sit for a minute because otherwise it'll fall right off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. She says it's cute. Thank you so much. These really did turn out so nice. And I just love how bright and cheery they are. really pretty and you can hang them with the wire uh the you know the wire wreath form itself or you can attach a little ribbon or a twist tie or whatever you'd like uh to the top of that if you want to hang it from something else they're really easy to hang let's see i just have a little twist tie that i added to mine but yay these are so pretty they really turned, they turned out, out so beautiful. It's just the perfect kind of summer, but getting it ready to go into fall. It's that perfect. The sunflowers just remind me of this time of year. So I love it. And they trans transition really well into that fall too. So it's, it's just beautiful. So yeah. Yeah. So you can keep this up for quite a while for a few months yep. for sure. Hey, Sandy, thanks for being with us today. Well, we hope we've inspired you. I just love so much about this, how bright and cheery it is. It, just greeting your guests at the front door with something like this is just so special. And of course, the paw print. I just love that. <laughs> it just 
tells everybody how much we love our pups. Um, but in a, in a really way, in a way that, you know, just coordinates so beautifully with the rest of the yeah. leaf. It's so pretty. I love it. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Sandy. Oh, she says it's so pretty. Thank you so much. That's Thank so you. Sweet. <laughs> uh, hope, hope we've inspired you to get out there. Go get some clothespins from Dollar Tree. Grab a, a, a wire wreath form from Dollar Tree and some paint and have at it. And I think you'd have a lot of fun. We have a, the printable that's for free that you can uh, click on that link and download it. I don't know if it's in our description, but it's certainly in our tutorial. Yep. So if you go to so our the, website. So the link to the step-by-step -step tutorial is in the description. So there you and go. That link is in there as well. So you get yeah. close up views of all the steps that we're talking about. So that makes it a little bit easier while you're trying to do it yourself. So you can definitely check that out as well. If you know anybody else that you think would enjoy this, please spread the word. Uh, it really does help us out a ton if you do that. And yeah, we'd love to see you. Um, if you like these kind of crafts, recipes, all sorts of fun stuff for dogs, we'd love to have you as a subscriber because then you'll get more of this fun stuff in your feed. So yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And Please. we do all kinds of fun things like birthday clubs and giveaways and all kinds of good yep. stuff. So, yep. yeah. So all kinds of yeah. dog love and goodness that you can find here. <laughs> yeah. We're looking for as many ways to celebrate our pups as we can. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. We hope you've, uh, we've inspired you to have some fun this weekend. Thanks again for being with us. Take care. Thanks, we'll see everyone. you next time. Bye-bye.